What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? And this week, you're going to ask me that question. A lot of you are going to ask me that question. And probably a lot of you are going to wonder that as you watch what's about to happen here. This is the Smordines Challenge. There's a little backstory to this one. This was supposed to be a challenge I'm supposed to do with Derek from Derek Versus. Uh, we haven't been able to get it linked up yet, so unfortunately, uh, you know, that hasn't happened. And this expired yesterday, so it's gone bad. So I have to eat expired food now. I, I'm kidding. I usually say best before, not bad after for expiry dates. Uh, and in this case, it definitely can't be bad. It just expired yesterday. So we were supposed to do this in the summer. It hasn't happened. I'm going to do it now. Uh, we're still going to do it. It's the, when, we, when we're doing it, we're going to do it like a head, to head thing. And we'll have some kind of challenge to see who gets it done first or gets the most down. or We'll, we'll figure something out like that. Uh, I'm sure we'll still do it one day. But for now, these, has to be, uh, these have to be knocked down. Um, they've been sitting here for too long. I'm tired of looking at them. And uh, well, I didn't have any other ideas for this week. So we're going to do them. And here they are. You already saw what they look like if you're... Unless you're blind, uh, they were in the thumbnail to, uh, without the cracker on top. So you, you saw how gross they look. Um, I don't know how this is going to go down. And there's also a picture right there if you want to see what they look like again. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what, how this is going to go down. Uh, they look quite nasty. The s'mores were, I, I got a little bit on my finger of the uh, marshmallows. It was really sticky from microwaving. So I don't know how this is going to go. And then I, at the top it off... You know, people go say, well, there's nothing to do with hot peppers. Well, you know, actually there is because the, uh, the uh, sardines had uh, jalapenos in them. So, <laughs> and, and just to, you know, up the ante a bit and to make it even worse, I put my own homemade ghost pepper hot sauce on them, which is one of the hottest hot sauces I have. It's really, really hot and it tastes good. It's garlicky too, but I'm not reviewing my own stuff because that would make me a bit of a wanker. And I'm not that, so. Anyways, click the subscribe button. I appreciate you guys who have. The guys that haven't, please do. Got to keep growing this thing if you want to see me do the Chili Cherry Nightmare. So click that button. Click the thumbs up. Comment. Tell me what you think of this. Tell me if you're interested in trying this. And this is a good follow-up, by the way, to the video I did last week, which was the uh, Trailer Park Boys review of the uh, decent hot sauce. And, uh, you know, this is kind of a Trailer Park Boys type of meal, so... Seems like an appropriate follow-up to, to that. And if you didn't see that video, well, you know, go check it out afterwards. I like that shameless promotion there. So, yeah, this is what's going down today. And we're dedicating this today to the Joshua Ruiz rematch that's going down just a couple hours after I filmed doing this. Um, you know, I've been looking forward to this fight since June. I think that uh, Ruiz shocked the world, but maybe exposed Joshua as a guy that really can't handle adversity. I'm not sure. We're going to see tonight how he bounces back. But uh, Ruiz can fight. Uh, he's a tough guy. He's powerful. And, uh, you know, I think he surprised Joshua. Maybe he wasn't prepared for him. I don't know. But uh, I did pick Joshua to win that fight, by the way, and I was wrong. So this time around, I don't know what to expect. I think maybe Joshua can't handle a guy that comes at him and bullies him. Uh, I, I'm kind of expecting the same thing to happen. I think he might get beat again. But Ruiz came in kind of heavy yesterday, and that makes me wonder if, if that's going to happen. Uh, unless his plan is to bully him with his weight, lean on, and tire him out, and knock him out. I don't know. If he does that, then that was the plan. Uh, or he's messed with everybody, and he's got weights under his shirt. Because I did find it weird he didn't take anything off for the weigh-in. So maybe he's trying to fool everybody, too. So I'm, I'm going to pick Ruiz because I think that maybe he exposed Joshua. We'll see. I'm a little more iffy on that now that I... You know, don't know what he really looks like for for the weigh-in uh, because he didn't really reveal too much yesterday. So um, we'll see what happens, but I'm going to pick Ruiz. I'm going to have this video up probably just before it happens, but that's my pick. I'll bet a best shot on it. How about that? So, um, yeah, I think Andy Ruiz. Leafs are playing the Blues tonight. The Leafs have been sucking ass lately. Um... You know, firing the coach wasn't the solution. This, there's something wrong with the way these guys play, especially after now they've gotten their big contracts. 
I'm not digging it. I don't believe in these guys anymore. I stopped believing in them after game six of the last play, year's playoffs. They, they did not show up like a team that wanted to win, and that bothers me because that was their chance after years of failing already. Uh, and now they are playing like this this year. Run out of time, boys. If you don't get it together, you're going to miss the playoffs. Our goal was not just to squeak into the playoffs this year. This team's supposed to compete for the cup. You're an embarrassment to the Leaf jersey. Start playing like a team that wants to wear that jersey. All right. So I'm betting on Ruiz. This fight's dedicated to that. And it's dedicated to the Leafs not sucking anymore. Get it done. Put your balls on the table, boys. Like the champ does. Just like he's going to now as he eats the s'more deans. Leafs would back down from this and just give up. I now don't know why Anderson is hanging out here. It's because of this. He wants some too. You know, I, I just, I can't wait to get into this. So, yeah, um, there we go. Smordeen Wonders. You can see the hot sauce of mine. It's hot, I'm telling you. I'm proud of it for being my first hot sauce. And uh, it's getting really rock hard now. So, um, bon appetit. Oh. The hot sauce. Oh. oh man, this is gross. Ooh. Move a hot bar. Oh my god. You know, I'm going to preserve judgment until I have this one that has a lot. Um, you know, it takes a real heart of a contender to we'll take this on. Let me tell you that. I do this so you don't have to. It's juicy. I taste a lot of marshmallow hot sauce. I think I'm chewing on fish in the pack. It's a little bit gross, but surprisingly not that bad. Now it's just cracker. This won't be so fun on cracker. Let's get down to the meat and potatoes of this. Look, nothing there. Oh, a little bit. There we go. Well, I can eat the cracker with nothing in it. There's no rules. I make the rules. I'm the champ. Now I'm the king of sardines, apparently, too. Uh, we have another one. I'm showing more balls than the Leafs have. You never know what you're getting into until you dive into it brainlessly. I was really fearing that this would be the worst decision I might make today. 
The marshmallow came out again. Well, the chocolate's good. Get some sardine. Mmm. Jalapeno. Mmm. Really dry. It better not be dry like the fight's gonna be later. The fight better be great. I gotta get out of here soon for that. Alright. No, that's chocolate. That wasn't sardine. Now I got a mixture of sardine, chocolate, and marshmallow in my mouth. Mmm. the marshmallows are really gross out of microwaves you got to cook them on a fire this way sucks um, so uh, they're really sticky they're like tar and I think the juiciness of the uh, sardines is making them wet which is kind of gross but nothing's tasting fishy which is that's the surprising part which is making this almost acceptable um, you know like I think my parents could be proud of me for doing such a thing. Look at that. This looks better than the crap you buy at McDonald's. Wonderful. Andy Ruiz, the heavyweight champ of the world. Pretty sure the champ recognizes champ qualities. He's got them in terms of power and speed. I gotta see him with his shirt off before the fight to see what he really looks like. If he really ballooned up 16 pounds, I, I am worried about his drive for the for the victory, but I still think he proved something, and I think he's going to repeat it. I think. This is going to be a meaty one. I think this is the best one for last. There's like a tail on this one, which is kind of gross. Oh. Okay, okay, gross. This guy gross. Oh. Oh, this guy really gross. Oh. Oh, that was a mouthful of meat with marshmallow. Oh. Marshmallow and meat don't go together at all. Oh, hot sauce too. You know, I didn't even notice the hot sauce till now. That was a horrible marshmallow texture with a meat filled, like fish filled center. And it was like, ugh. One look. sure how I feel about myself right now. Ugh. Well, you know, the end there was just pure chocolate. So now I have a chocolatey hot flavor in my mouth. And that's good. So, there you have it. I didn't eat the graham crackers because whatever, man. If you don't got, like if you don't like that, come down here and show me you do that and eat the whole thing. I ate the gross part. And I knocked it out. And that's what matters. I crushed the gross part. 
I tackled it. It wasn't too bad until the last one. The last one there, yeah, it was gross. Now my throat is just dried out with crap stuck all over the place. I gotta get a drink. Ugh. Well, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, click that button there. That's the subscribe button. Click it. Click it. Watch last week's video. Watch this week's, whatever this video is here. I'm a little frazzled. Thanks for tuning in. I think I crushed this one. We'll see you next week. We'll see how Ruiz does.